Absolutely. So um, the statistic on people going back to relationships that are abusive um, for all of those reasons, but also the, the genuine love that you have for that person is about, it takes about eight times going back before somebody leaves on average um, for good. Uh, and, and as you mentioned, there's a lot of reasons that people stay or go back. And one of the main reasons is because you genuinely love them. I mean, think about it. So the first two months of our relationship were amazing. I mean, he took me on romantic dates and would hold my hand when we walked on the beach and like, <laughs> you know, and it was like very <laughs> snappy. It was very, it was exactly what I grew up believing I was supposed to have right? We watch fairy tales and Disney and all these rom-coms that are like, oh, you know, relationships are work, but when they work out, they're amazing. And truly relationships aren't supposed to be work. It's supposed to be effortless. Yeah. But we and that's a part of the problem, right? Like we're, we're told that it's supposed to be a certain way. And then when we get that, we just hold on to it, even though it's not good for us. Right. And we believe that what we have is real and genuine. And so I had this foundation of really intense love for him because I knew that he could be that charming, kind, compassionate, thoughtful person that he was. We would spend nights, you know, watching the Yankees because he's from New York and, and making pizza from scratch and doing all these fun, romantic, couple-y things. And so when, when I was going through it, all I could think of was, but where's that guy? Like, I want him back. I want to be with that guy. And this guy is stressed. And, you know, I tried to rationalize his behavior. Oh, he's just drinking a lot. Oh, we're in college. Oh, you know, he's stressed out. His dad's making him stress. His classes are making him stress. And so it's all being taken out on me. But that's okay, because really deep down, he's this great person. And that's not the truth. The truth is, like you said, it's a system. They have this this routine, this roller coaster routine that they put us through that builds us up, breaks us down, and then keeps us there because they want us to, they want them to be the only person that controls us and them to be the only person that has access to us. And the second we branch out, they try and isolate us. And I, I kind of got off topic here, but yes, that's where the, that's where um, a support network steps in is to, you know, to break down that belief that you aren't worth love or that you that your flaws are awful and nobody will ever love you those worthless feelings those feelings of needing to be better and the self talk the negative self talk and self doubt that's just now rooted in your brain they planted seeds and it's just sprouting all over the place it's really 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 awful <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.